Steve from Lake Arrowhead. This is my 2021 uh, 2500 HD. We're gonna use this to tow a 40 foot, uh, 18,000 pound fifth wheel trailer. We're just picking our truck up from Banks today and we're going through all the modifications that they've done. We've got the Derringer, the Pedal Monster, the exhaust, the diff cover, everything they could possibly do to it has been done and we're just taking a look at it now. All right, where do you want to start? You want to look at the uh, monster I wanna, exhaust? I want to see this exhaust. All right. Uh, she's big. <laughs> <laughs> that looks perfect. Black as well. Just perfect. <laughs> All right, Steve, let's look at the Derringer under the hood. Come on over here. All right. All right. So that guy, let me zoom in on it. Right over there. That is our Derringer. I like and it. And that's the guy that's adding the horsepower. I can't right. wait to see what it does. And then under the dash is where we have the pedal monster. By the way, you're one of the uh, first to get this new iDash Stealth Pod. I love this it. This dual pod right here. People were asking to keep their grab handle and that is our solution. And we call it a Stealth Pod because no wires. Look at that, no wires hanging. Those are all fed right down here. They go all the way up under here. So you have your pedal monster and then ultimately your Derringer under the hood looks like a pro installation I love it it is a pro installation so what we've got going on over here is you have two gauges this is going to be your primary gauge right here and on the left you'll see PM for pedal monster and on the right it says DER for Derringer to uh, change your sensitivity on the pedal monster all you have to do is go up like this into city and then into sport and keep going and then in you're in track all right so for example, give me just a little throttle over there. The white is what you're commanding and the red is what we're adding. It'll make a, a bigger difference when we're on the road and there's actually some load on the engine. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go all the way back down to stock, all right? Now, if we wanna get to uh, the Derringer side over here, right now STK means it's in stock mode. All you have to do is select the back button and this goes red over here. Now you can hit the up arrow, two, three, four, five, and level six being maximum horsepower addition. And then of course we have three configurable gauges in down the center. And these can be anything you want. And of course you have another gauge up top and those are all configurable. You can make them any color um, and check this out. If I hold this down for a few seconds, there's page two. These are all configurable. And there's page three. And there's page four. And then we'll go back to page five. And this one, look at this, we can even go down to here and say two gauge. I can have two gauges all the way to eight gauges. And this is all just hooked into OBD too. This is OBD plus there's a lot of calculated parameters like manifold air density, boost air density, a bunch of turbo parameters that we're calculating in real time in the iDash that your dashboard will not show you. What I'd like to do now is hop in and have you go around the block and tell me what you think of the Derringer or the Pedal Monster. I'm looking forward to it, let's do it. All right. So as you'll see on the iDash, the left-hand side is your Pedal Monster and the right-hand side is Derringer and they both say stock. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the back button, Steve, and that'll highlight the right side of the screen yep. and now use the up arrow and go to level six all right and let's give it a whirl so you're gonna make a, a left at the first street and we're gonna get on it so there's a street about where that guy is you'll make a left i can hear the pitch changer already and then it goes right before you get to the end. We'll stop and turn the parking lot and make a U-turn. All right, give it, give it some beans. Wow. <laughs> That's almost a little disconcerting. <laughs> That's almost as, uh, it, it, I have to get used to that. Now we haven't even changed the pedal monster. It's still stock at this point. Wow. I turn right into this parking lot, right here, hard right. There you go. Here's the great thing about the Derringer. It only adds more power at about 35% throttle and beyond. So if you're just doing a grandpa around the streets of your you know, town, oh, you're not at using any extra fuel. And you can see the power being added over there. You see that bar graph? I'm just looking at the road. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a different truck. 
that's that's quite impressive and now all you have to do is hit the up arrow on the left hand side and then let me zoom in here a little bit guys and then let's go up hit up now you're in city keep going see how it climbs the ladder oh yeah yeah all right let's go to like city eight a couple more bars there you go and tell me what you think of that wow remember you're making a left here just the same engine <laughs> All right, now that is just city. Oh, we haven't even gotten out of city? That's city mode right there. Huh. <laughs> it certainly had plenty of power, but to get it to respond like it's responding now was a challenge. Now check this out. Put it in reverse, and I want you to show everyone what happens. What, what happens on the screen over there? What does it say? Reverse mode. Oh, okay. So that means, back up slowly, you're in stock throttle in reverse. It's the only throttle sensitivity controller on the market that knows what gear you're in. So when you back up your trailer, you don't back up quickly. Oh, I see. You're set back to stock in Nor reverse. Normal mode That's exactly right. And as soon as you put it in drive, it goes right back into city eight again. So let's bump up and go into sport. Keep going. Let's go like halfway through sport there. There you go. Yeah, it's definitely different. The combination of having the pedal response and the amount of power delivery is impressive. So Steve, I'm gonna steal your driver's seat for a second and show yours. you uh, what's going on in the iDash here. So your main uh, menu button is the top right-hand corner and you select what you want with that right arrow button. I wanna show you our diagnostics. So I'm gonna go up to where we go here diagnostics select diagnostics and we're going to select vehicle and then i can check vehicle codes recall previous codes clear vehicle codes uh, check emissions readiness injector balance rates uh, i can command a stationary regen if we wanted i can command a mobile regen i can air, uh, reset the air filter system right now i want to check vehicle codes and right now it's uh, checking for codes. See if there's anything uh, pending. No codes found. Again, this is how you select your gauge layout. We can say two gauge, that's a two gauge layout, right? Or I can say a three gauge layout, there's three, right? Or you get the picture, I can go all the way down. There's a density layout for manifold air density on the top. Uh, I can go down and say the, the one we were on was the Derringer Pedal Monster combo, where we have uh, Pedal Monster on this side, Derringer over here. So you've also got alerts. You can set a, an alert to say like uh, transmission oil temperature. Transmission oil temp, exactly. So when you're pulling whatever. up a long grade or pulling up the grapevine or something, if your temp got hot or getting near getting hot, you tell it, you I want this to alert on. me over 240 degrees and it will pop a big amber alert right here. Now, you do not have to be monitoring the, the, the parameter on the screen. You yeah. can set up alerts for anything in the background. You don't have to be looking at it at that time. You can also set minimum and maximum logs. This will record the minimum and the maximum that something has been at, like your low oil pressure or your high oil pressure or the uh, highest boost you ever got or the highest speed you ever traveled it will record all those I have an air density Derringer diagnostics emissions engine performance air fuel pressure speed and velocity temperature transmission voltage vehicle performance if I go up to like pressure there's just a fraction of the pressures that I can select oh, wow. boost pressure DPF Delta engine oil pressure FRP commanded fuel oil pressure lift pump pressure map commanded manifold absolute pressure uh, pressure ratio system, transmission line pressure, on and on and on. This thing keeps going and going. So it really is an incredibly powerful tool for not just diesel enthusiasts, but pretty much any car on the road. It's all about that logo, baby.